teams have the best draft? Well, we're here to give you our top five, brought to you by our friends over at Legendary GM. Mike, it was like the Arizona Cardinals. We're using the PFF draft board. We obviously loved their draft, starting with Kyler Murray, but top to bottom, so many potential contributors in that draft. Yeah, two players inside the PFF top 10 of our draft board that they selected, five players inside the top 50 of our draft board that they selected. That is an absurd haul. And I think their first three picks legitimately would have been what we had, what we would have done for their first three picks during getting Kyler Murray, getting Byron Murphy, the cornerback out of Washington at the top of the second round, and then Andy Isabella, the deep threat for Kyler Murray at the back end of the second. My favorite thing about those picks, just from a production standpoint, before we even put them on the draft board, Kyler Murray, our number one quarterback last year, grade-wise. Murphy, number one corner. Is yes, number, number one, one receiver. You throw in Zach Allen off the edge. You get some weapons for Murray. So they built an excellent draft there. Our number two draft, not as many players as the Cardinals, but the Tennessee Titans, they have at least four players who can contribute, start, see some significant time. Yeah, every single player that they took, the position that they took them, we had them higher on our draft board than that position. So, exceptional value with every single pick that they had there. Right off the bat with Jeffrey Simmons, we viewed him as a top 10 player. The ACL obviously pushed him down draft boards, but when he gets back and healthy on the football field, you get a clean bill of health, you're getting a top 10 player, you're getting a dominant defensive tackle to pair with Jarrell Casey. And then A.J. Brown, for my money, the, high, the best chance of being a true number one receiver in this draft class has all the tools you could want to be that just didn't play outside a lot at Ole Miss so it's a little bit of objection but I feel confident in the fact that he can make that transition to the next level be that guy across from Corey Davis add just a little more after the catch that that offense has been missing then you throw in Nate Davis a guard who has starting ability and then Imani Hooker uh, at safety a guy that we had a second round grade on he can contribute in the slot Certainly. or on the back end so love what the Titans did our number three overall draft the Los Angeles Chargers, another team, if you look at their first two picks especially, that's exactly what we would have done. Yeah. Jerry Tillery at number 28 overall, and then Nasir Adderley, the free safety out of Delaware. Two guys who were great value and fit their scheme perfectly. Yeah, you're already fairly strong defensively. We already had a good defense last year, but that doesn't mean you couldn't add talent. There weren't positions that could be upgraded, and two of them, the three technique defensive tackle in that defense, the penetrator up the middle that they had desperately been missing with Melvin Ingram and Joey Bosa on the outside. That's Jerry Tillery to a T, going to be a weapon for them to deploy along that defensive line. Then Nazir Adderley missing that middle of the field safety. Derwin James is your do-it-all box guy, hybrid slot, whatever you want him to do around the line of scrimmage. Adderley is the back end playmaker, the middle of the field, shut down those throwing lanes up the seams. That is Nazir Adderley. So couldn't argue with the value they got with those two picks. And you throw in Drew Tranquil, playmaking linebacker. Love the pieces that the Chargers added to that defense. Before we get to the last two teams in our top five, is a quick break to tell you about our friends over at Legendary GM. The draft is over. Did it go the way you thought it should? Are you questioning your GM's draft selections? Well, not on this video, but overall you are. Introducing Legendary GM, the first ever platform that allows you to draft for any pro football team. With LGM, you can still submit the draft picks your team should have taken. You will only be able to take players who were available for your team in each round. Draft against your GM and draft against your friends to see who knows best. Legendary GM is simple, fun, and will give you bragging rights for years to come. No lineups to set, waiver wires to manage, or free agent pickups to worry about. Draft players your team really needs and get rewarded when your players perform during the season. Start a league with one friend or 50. Create your draft history and have proof of your genius. So what are you waiting for? Prove you know better than the pros, the experts, and your friends. Go to LegendaryGM.com now to sign up. That's LegendaryGM.com. Use promo code PFF to invite up to nine friends for free. That's promo code PFF. All right, our number four best draft. Go into the Washington Redskins. Mike, this was for as much about their process as anything else. A lot of rumors that they wanted to go up and trade to get Dwayne Haskins, but they sat at 15 and they got him anyway. Yeah, not having to give up any tra draft capital to get your quarterback of the future. And, and it was something that I think you wanted to address it sooner rather than later with that Alex Smith contract looming on the books. They're kind of behind the eight ball cap wise. So get a guy you can get in there and develop. I don't, I don't think he necessarily has to start right away where you took him. You can develop him, let him start down the road. And then the Montez Sweat pick, I think that's where we thought he should have been value wise. Not really the top 10 hype, but he has freakish tools 
that, I mean, him compared to Rashawn Gary in this draft class, there's not much of a difference between them in our eyes. Both freak athletes, both not as productive as you'd like at the college level. And to get sweat as, you know, 14 picks later than Gary is good value. They rounded out the draft really well, too. A nice playmaker in Terry McLaurin, Dwayne Haskins' teammate at wide receiver. Bryce Love, if he's healthy, a home run threat at running back. Mm -hmm. Kelvin Harmon, a big-bodied wide receiver and one of your favorites. Jimmy Moreland, the cornerback out of James Madison. Keep an eye on that seventh rounder. And then our number five favorite draft goes to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I think it goes back to process for them as well, Mike. It was all about just kind of letting the draft come to them. I don't think they expected to take Josh Allen from Kentucky, but when they saw a top four, top five type of player in the draft available, they pounced at number seven overall. Yeah, one of the most loaded defensive lines in the NFL right now. Calais Campbell, Yannick Ngakwe at edge already set in stone. And then your first round pick last year, Taven Bryan was on the defensive line as well. That didn't stop them from taking by far the best player available left on their board most likely. One of the best pass rushers in this entire class, a freak athlete. I feel very good about him being able to rush the passer of the NFL. He's a, he, I could see him being the best defensive player in this draft class when it's all said and done with the type of tool that he has. And then because they made that pick, they didn't force it, but they still got first round caliber offensive tackle, Jawan Taylor at number 35 overall. They got him in the second round, a guy that they had been mocked at number seven yes. before. So uh, two first round picks, two top 10 type of talents. It's a great way to kick off the draft for the Jacks. Yeah, Jawan Taylor, we didn't see him as necessarily great value at seven. And so to pass on him there and get him all the way in the wrap, he's perfect in terms of played right tackle at Florida, can slot right in and be a good run blocker. And they're going to be a team that's going to want to run the ball a lot, I'm assuming, with Leonard Fournette this year. So he provides value in that regard. Throwing the big tight end, Josh, all over in the third round. Really like what the Jaguars did in their draft. So there you have it. It's our top five drafts, all powered by our friends over at Legendary GM.